Hello and welcome back. This is Nick with the Live 365 uh, technical support team. And today what we're going to do is uh, take you through a brief uh, tutorial on how to set up a station ID for your station. Uh, this is a question we get asked a lot as how do I set up a station ID? And what we're going to do is walk you through that today. So the first thing what you want to do is log into your broadcaster account. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign into mine here, Blue Lake Radio. All right, and I'm going to access my broadcaster dashboard because we're going to be using it in a minute. So, so here I am in the broadcaster dashboard. The next step is essentially going to be to upload your station ID, and this uh, this would be done the same way you would upload any other track as long as it's an MP3 file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that using the loader. All right, sign in here. Now keep in mind you can also do uploads with all the other methods. Um, if if you're not sure what other methods we offer, check out the Getting Started series, which takes you through the uploading process. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to locate my files. Now I have a station ID I want to use here in this folder. So let's go ahead and upload it. All right, that was quick. And let's go back into the tracks page. Now it may take a moment to show up here. Up oh, there we go. Perfect. So it shows up now. I had already tagged this track uh, correctly, but if it shows up as missing information, then you just want to click on it, open up the track info editor, and then what you're going to want to do here is set the track type to ID dash short station ID. Um, and then for artist and album title, you want to do all caps ID slash PSA, album title the same way. The uh, track name this can be anything you want anything I want ID and I'm going to save that I'm just going to refresh this so I can see it updates perfect so the very next step is setting it as your um, your station ID either as a pre-roll or an in-stream ID and I'll explain the difference here so what you want to do next is click on my profile then click on the advanced section and then scroll down about midway, you'll see station IDs. One thing to note here is that station IDs can only be 30 seconds or less. So if you have a MP3 file that's 35 seconds long that you want to use, unfortunately it won't work. It has to be 30 seconds or less. So, so here we are, and this is the pre-roll station ID section. So what this means is when a listener first tunes into your station, they're going to hear this uh, station ID play to introduce your station. And that's the one I want to use. So I'm going to use this drop down menu here and select my ID. And there we go. It's all set. Now you can also set this for VIP listeners or regular listeners. And you have five slots for each. Now, in addition to the pre roll, you have the in stream ID. And that means that for every commercial break there is, if you opt in to have the commercials play on your station, then your station ID will play during that break. So. You can set that up here too. I'm going to go ahead and set that for regular listeners. And then I'm going to scroll down and click save. And yes, there we go. Successful. So we're going to just do a quick test. Now I want to play you this uh, track here so you can hear what it sounds like. This is Brian from Dead Black Hearts, and you're listening to Austin Independent Radio. There we go. So that's what it sounds like, and we're just going to test this out right now by going to our station, Blue Lake Radio, just to make sure that it plays. So here we go. This is Brian from Dead Black Hearts, and you're listening to Austin Independent Radio. Perfect. So that is it. That that concludes the setting up a station ID on your station.